Hey guys, it's me, Panzo6, and today I want to talk about upgrades. I'm not talking about PC upgrades, but I'm talking about console upgrades. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to the gaming news of late, you may have heard something called PS4K or Xbox 1.5. Now, these consoles are supposed to be... Uh, they have um, a little bit more power, a little bit more of the GPU, CPU, and are supposed to be able to, you know, play games in 4K resolution. Now, um, <coughs> Phil Spencer said he does not want to do anything remotely close to Xbox 1.5, and Sony has yet to comment on PS4K, and I think it's Polygon and... Uh, most likely Kotaku. I forget who brought it up first, but um, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah, it's cool if you want to refresh it, maybe like they did with PlayStation 2 or PS3, uh, doing slim models and making them cheaper, but I don't really see much of an advantage of doing a PS4K, and I don't see how they're going to be able to sell a machine that cheap if it's $400, give or take, that's going to be able to display 4K when it costs a hell of a lot of money to do this with a PC. And I don't understand. I, I, I think it might be upscaled to 4K, but I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to run like shit uh, for the most part. But then, then again, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the wizard there at Sony building the parts and all that stuff, but I know for a fact... But it's probably going to be upscaled. It's not going to be uh, 4K games. I mean, I, there would have to be some fucking wizardry to do that. And I think if they did do it, if they did, made the approach kind of similar to what they did with, like, Nintendo, they did uh, the 3DS and the new 3DS, um, there's not much of a difference in the, between those two, except for the fact that you know the, the new 3DS has an extra thumbstick, a little bit more power to boost. But um, there's only a couple games that's made specifically for that 3DS, and Nintendo is really good. They don't want to, you know, alienate um, a good bit of their gamers that's already own these systems, and that's what I'm afraid is going to happen with the PS4K. I mean, if you have extra CPU and GPU power. A dev is going to want to use that. They definitely want to use that. So you're going to already look at a subpar um, product whenever it comes out the door. Well, this buy this version for PlayStation 4. And if you pay $10 more, same price, get PS4K version. It has this much more graphics, all the graphics, which... Again, I don't see how this is going to work. I don't understand it. Maybe it's just something to help with the PSVR. But I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit can help with the PlayStation VR, but the 4K thing, that's has to be. It has to be upscaled. And you can argue with me all day about it <laughs> until your face turns blue. There's no way the PlayStation 4 is going to be able to run games in full 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. That's fucking hard enough on a PC. Unless you have, you know, you spent port a ton of money on your PC, which... I need to upgrade, and my upgrades are barely going to even touch 4K. I, I still have a 1080p monitors, but I don't know. Microsoft, whenever it was brought up to them, uh, Phil Spencer said, basically, you know, I don't want to do a PlayStation 4, well, a, <laughs> I'm sorry, Xbox 1.5. He says, I don't like that idea. And if they want to do something, if they want to bring out another box, it's going to have substantial upgrades. It's not going to be just... Oh, Xbox 1.5, here you go, let's play 4K, uh, give you a little bit more RAM, a little bit of GPU, CPU power, ship it out the door. Um, Xbox has been pretty um, forward of what they want to do, for, even at the beginning when everybody said they want to use the cloud, um, to basically let the cloud, uh, Azure, I believe, that's what it's called, um, do some of the work for uh some of the games, uh, like Crackdown, is a good example for it. Um, the cloud is going to be used to basically stream all that stuff in to make these buildings and everything explode into tiny little bit bitty pieces, and uh, you don't have to worry about your CPU, GPU as much. It's not going to take 
strain those because it's all coming from streaming from the cloud. So better your internet connection is, the better gameplay you're going to have. Um, I don't. I, I don't. I honestly. I probably will not purchase a PlayStation 4K unless there is a, a definitive reason. Say I don't know. Um, PlayStation VR bundle with PlayStation 4K and two move controllers, uh, $800 um, out the door, maybe less if they want to maybe sell themselves short, but I'm pretty sure PlayStation VR is being sold um, <laughs> not at a loss, but they're going to be making money from each one they sell. Um, unlike Oculus and Vive, <clears throat> which I've I'm so, I, I really like my time with the Oculus Rift. Um, if you guys get a chance, you can go back to my previous videos and you can see um, where I use the uh, Oculus DK2 model. And it's, it's a blast, and I'm true. I, I'm truly into VR. I think VR is where we should be heading. Um, the the 3D thing that it kind of went away. And VR is exactly where the gaming industry needs to be at this point. Uh, rather, you're choosing HoloLens, which is not necessarily VR. It's more AR, but they may be able to implement v VR as well. Uh, PlayStation VR, um, <laughs> HTC Vive, and Oculus Rift. Um, which are all fantastic. I'd, lo I'd love to get my hands on the... I'd rather have the Vive more than anything. But that's that's going to come much later because at this point at my time where I'm searching for a job and trying to get caught up with bills, it's kind of hard to really do. But um, anyways, <clears throat> I don't see a point in purchasing a pay PlayStation 4K. I think and a lot of people are going to see this and it's only like hardcore uh, PlayStation users are going to buy this thing. Um, it's, <sighs> I mean, there's not... There's not a huge market right now for 4K. Uh, I mean, it's nice. It really is, but most people are pretty content with what they have at this point. Um, I give an example. I before I moved away from um, <coughs> Ohio, I went to Big Sandy Superstore, which is kind of a uh, warehouse that sells furniture, electronics, and uh, appliances. And <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but the guys I was looking at the 4K uh, TV. It was like. Uh, one of the curves, it was, uh, I think it was LG, but I'm not sure. And the guy tried to sell it by saying, oh, you need to get this, you need to get this. Here in a year or so, everything's going to be 4K. Um, they're going to drop the signal, and you won't be able to use your 1080p TV. No, that's not true either. Um, not that I know of. I don't like I said. I don't see a huge market in 4K just yet. Maybe a five years down the road when the the technology is cheaper. Yeah, yeah, I see that. But I don't see right now. And most likely, if you're going to go 4K, it's usually just for the enthusiasts that want the biggest, the best, and the prettiest, or whatever. That's perfectly fucking fine. Um, I that's really fine. And I'm not going to tell you not to buy these things, but um, the only thing I'm worried about, the consoles do have a uh, upgrade, um, which I'd prefer it to be modular, um, where you could just buy the part, plug it in, here's some extra beef like I did with the Nintendo 64. I don't know how that would work with these new consoles. I don't think it would, but maybe if they release the system um, where it's you can switch out the parts, and there you go. Um, I would like to see that. I doubt that would ever happen. You know, they're not going to spend sell sell you something like three hundred dollar uh, upgrade uh, per se, because uh, they probably won't make enough money off of it. And, but I do see this a change in times. The thing I'm worried about is, well, PlayStation Four this year, PlayStation Four S, uh, Xbox One, Xbox One S. You know, see the see the little thing we're going with. Apple does this every year. You get the new iPhone. There's two of them that come out a year. There's the iPad. There's two of those that come out a year. Same with Samsung with the Galaxies and uh, Windows tablets. Uh, it's I don't want to see consoles going that way. 
at that point you might as well be buying a PC because technically a PC you have everything and also when since today Sony announced well it wasn't today, it was yesterday uh, that they will be allowing game streaming from PlayStation to your PC or Mac and Xbox already does this so I mean at that point maybe they could turn PlayStation and Xbox as a service um, rather than a console say if you don't want to go the route of buying these machines they can turn it as a service similar to Netflix and there you go um, maybe charge twenty dollars a month and you get access to these games these games um, I, I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work um, but if I, like I said, if I wanted to see any type of upgrades, I want to go module, modular, or I'll just go with PC. I'm s sorry, but it's getting kind of expensive. Like every every you know ten years, that's fine. I I, th I think the sweet spot for console life should be at least ten years, but they should have a new system come out at year eight. In fact, I think that's a sweet spot. That gives you enough time. You build, you you play all your games on your console, but you know you're because I don't know. I, I would feel as if I if we did it every five years. That's five years comes pretty quick. I mean, even one year. But I, I don't know. I want to get my money's worth. I, I thought the Xbox uh, 360 and the PlayStation 3 they did it really really well. They was out a little bit longer than they should have been, and um, once the play, PlayStation 4 Xbox One came out. They're still underpowered compared to today's PCs, but um, it's a huge step forward. But from hearing what they're talking about, Nintendo's and next system that might be pretty good. I see where they're going to use um, uh, 86 architecture, but I don't know. I don't know where details will come out. As soon as I hear them, you'll hear them, or you'll probably hear them from somewhere else. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I love you guys so much. And also, please be sure to check out this uh, little project I'm working on right now. Um, it's called Bits and Pieces, and the slogans come together. And what it is, it's a gaming lounge slash store where you come in, hang out, play games, uh, card games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, PlayStation games, Xbox, Nintendo, whatever, and board games any kind of type of game that's what i'm trying to get to and also be able to get something good to eat as well as hang out with people on uh pay-per-view nights ufc uh wrestlemania and just all kinds of fun but also this will be helping uh youth that suffer from anxiety depression and ever had the thoughts of suicide as you guys know you can check back on the previous videos i'm you know, I have anxiety and depression real bad, and I almost committed suicide back in the day. And I want to help people because um, we had a friend that committed suicide uh, just a few months ago. And I feel as people that young, they do need people to hang out with, people know they care without getting picked on. And I think we'll do really great. Um, as I say, you can go to go, www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Pieces. I'm sorry, I can't even get the words out. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I love you guys. And see you later.